everyone. I'm just about to complete my two-page layout for my pleasure to meet you travelogue. And in this travelogue, you're supposed to do a layout on somebody you would like to meet, whether they are real or fictional, alive or dead. For me, I've had the opportunity in my life to meet a lot of celebrities. Um, my father played professional football, so as a young child, we met some celebrities and I met Muhammad Ali when he was in Alberta many years ago. And my son, as a, a young teenager at 14, started acting and he got a very large role and he played alongside Sidney Poitier. So I got an opportunity to spend two weeks meeting him. I met Alec Baldwin. I've met Anthony Hopkins and just quite a few stars and I've had the opportunity myself to do some acting in movies. So I had to really ponder on this one because for me meeting somebody celebrity like um, really is just people doing their job and their job just happens to put them in front of the camera so that doesn't make them any more special than you or I. But there is one person I really would like to meet and sit down and just have a good conversation with, and that is Oprah Winfrey. I, I have had the opportunity to see her live. My sister and I went to a conference in Seattle, the Live Your Best Life workshop, and it was fantastic. I'm going to do my layout based on some of the uh, paraphernalia that I got from there. Of course, I made copies. This is the copy of our ticket. The Live Your Left Best Life workshop, and then we got some. These were made like credit cards. This is just on cardstock now, but it was um, you were uh, going to. You're supposed to write uh, sort of a profundity on there, and it said, "My Monica, my purpose will change and evolve. Live your best life." Signed, Oprah. So it's something to keep in your purse, and this was just the uh, check-in tour, the security check, and all that kinds of stuff and then on the website she, I don't know if she still has it now but she did a live your best life slideshow and one of the photos that they used on the website was a photo of me and my sister which was really cool um, and as you flash through it you saw us so that was kind of cool so that's the closest I've gotten to actually seeing her but I would absolutely love to meet her so um, I'll take you through how I'm gonna do my page going to start off with my Tim Holtz masks and I'm going to find all the O's I can on here and then I'm going to use some distress inks and apply them to the page as a background. So as you can see I used the uh, as many O's as I could find. I uh, use this one twice and I love the masks as once you lift it up underneath it's just so crisp and clear under there and I sort of tricked and used a cue and I turned it around so that I could get this bigger O. And there's one here and one down here. So what I'm going to do is now spritz some glimmer mist on it for two effects. I want the whiteness of these O's to be toned down a little bit. And I love when you spritz any water substance on Distress Ink how it creates those little spots. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. There you can see those little spots. So I just love how that turns out. And then I just, I use lime, uh, lime, what's it called? Lime Twist Glimmer Mist. You can see that right here and spritz the other page too even though I'm going to do a collage over here but just in case some of the edges uh, poke through. So I'm going to go ahead and work on my collage right now. So I made my collage already. I'll show you that in a sec and I'm looking for a journal um, card and what I do is I keep all of my journaling cards in this little bag hanging on the wall so I can just go in there and sort through and I found this one it's an autumn leaves one called diary and this one here is just going to be perfect so I'm going to do my journaling and adhere it to the other page so here's my final page I added my journaling over there and then I found these petaloo flowers that I bought when I went to visit Roxy in Minneapolis and I just had three of them left, so they look really great on this page. They really pop. And apparently that green is Oprah's favorite color. The trip was so amazing. It was a true Oprah experience, just like you would imagine it would be. When we got there, we got 
bags full of goodies and freebies and then uh, there was people from Bally bra and uh, Oprah always says everyone wears the wrong size bra so everyone was sized and then when you got home this beautiful hundred dollar bra was sent to you in your right size and it was just so much fun we got journals pens purses wallets the lunch was amazing it was just amazing amazing once in a lifetime experience so I did the collage on this side you can see your ticket stub and stuff and then on my journaling I put after fate helped me secure two tickets to Oprah's Live Your Best Life workshop in Seattle in 2003, I decided to take my sister, who had just recently been widowed. We stayed in an amazing bed and breakfast right across the street of a Buddhist garden, took ferry boat rides, walked, talked, journaled, and cried, and spent an awesome day at the workshop. Everything unfolded to be so healing for my sister and a treasured memory I will cherish forever. And I would love to tell Oprah face to face that she truly made a difference in our lives. So that is somebody I would really like to meet, Oprah Winfrey. So thanks for watching and I'll pack this travelogue on its way to the next spot. Bye-bye.